Okay, I'd like to explain what's um, happened in Parliament today. Okay. Scottish National Party, SNP, um, had introduced a motion for an unconditional and immediate ceasefire. Now, the normal process is... Um, well, I, I believe it was something like this was introduced before uh, last year. And... Um, um, didn't succeed um, and it didn't succeed because Labour introduced um, a whip to force its members to vote against okay the situation in Gaza got has become worse so the SNP have reintroduced this motion now um, on the previous occasion, because of uh, what Labour had done, uh, there was a it suffered a massive rebellion, um, and Keir Starmer is beginning to realise that um, there will it, it's going to have to face some serious challenges with the upcoming general election if uh, for voting against a ceasefire there's a lot of rebellion within the public um, for Keir Starmer's Zionist stance on um, not voting for uh, voting against a ceasefire now uh, so what Keir Starmer is doing he's a, a Machiavellian politician he will lie and scheme and deceit because to him the end justifies the means. He has a reputation. He is known for being Machiavellian. Um, now, so, um, so what he's trying to do is um, deceive the public, basically. Have a bogus ceasefire. So what he's trying to do is... He, he still can't accept this un unconditional ceasefire motion introduced by the S&P. So he's going to introduce an amendment to water it down, make it wishy-washy, basically um, to the point that it's toothless. Um, he's going to introduce conditions, conditions such as um, we... Uh, we want a ceasefire conditional upon um all or was it all the hostages being released and um and um uh, and nothing like october the 7th can ever happen again so, uh, to the israelis that is acceptable and it'll have no effect because they'll continue um doing what they're doing because they'll say yeah we um uh, we're not convinced that something like October the 7th will never happen again um, so it is a, a very um, mischievous um, deceitful watering down of um, the ceasefire motion so Labour want to show that oh yeah we voted for a ceasefire when in fact it's not re a real motion because it has no effect. It, it, what Labour's amendment pretty much allows Israel to carry on doing what it wants, and it allows Labour to to do um, to to show that it voted for a ceasefire um, mischievously. But um, the the problem is the normal process is um, an opposition party can introduce a motion and any amendments um, that the speaker um, chooses whose amendments um, are accepted and voted upon and traditionally it's uh, the speaker is expected to choose the amendments of the government okay the Tories 
which means um and the Tories amendment is so watered down um it just says oh we will we'll introduce some humanitarian pause get some water bottles in um but that's bad for Labour because it doesn't give Keir Starmer the chance to show that, yes, we voted for a ceasefire. So Keir Starmer doesn't want the Tories version in. Um, and so he wants his version in because his version is a, a ceasefire in name only. Whereas the Torah's version is, is not really calling for a ceasefire. So um, what Keir Starmer has done is he's pressured Lindsay Hoyle, the Speaker of the House of Commons, and threatened him and saying, look, if you don't choose our amendment, we'll make sure uh, that um, when it's time for your job to be um voted upon you we won't vote for you and you'll lose your position so lindsay so lindsay Hall felt threatened and basically chose twisted the rules so that labor's amendment gets voted upon and this is what this is the reason for all the controversy um i hope that explains it